Hi guys, this is Tim Stump from Technique Peak. Today's topic I'd like to discuss is uh, PREs, progressive resistive exercises. Now we all uh, routinely prescribe three sets of 10 in the clinic. Um, so given some thought, where did this actually come from? Uh, his name is Thomas DeLorme. Uh, he was at the end of World War II and he was an army surgeon. And he was utilizing three sets of 10 as an effective way uh, to help regain injured soldiers, uh, regain their strength after femur fractures. And he's, he actually did some peer-reviewed research, about three landmark papers on uh, his uh, PREs or strategy to increase strength. So in the traditional sense, it was basically three progressively heavier sets, and the third and final set was a work set. So sets one and two were performed with 50 and 75%, the 10 repetition max, respectively. And then the third set was the amount of weight that the patient or subject was uh, capable of lifting 10 times. Now, this, was, this is excellent and it produced superior results. Um, however, a lot of our patients aren't able to go to repetition failure, or we wouldn't want them to do that, especially during the earlier stages of rehab. So one way to make this more applicable is if we look at uh, some of the work done by uh, McDonough and Davies back in 1984, they demonstrated a, uh, an ability to, for novice uh, patients or patients during the earlier phases of rehab were quite capable of getting stronger with submaximal resistances. Uh, they utilized resistance more in the neighborhood of 60% somebody's 1RM. Um, but the repetition is the most telling. They were doing repetitions upwards of 25 plus reps in a given exercise. So how do we make this applicable to our clinic? So some of the things that I've done and I found very helpful is I would term this anatomical adaptation. So when the person is starting the PREs, I would simply have them perform one to two sets of an exercise upwards of 20 to 30 repetitions. All right, so that gives me an exercise volume of anywhere between 20, 40, upwards of 60. If they do two sets of 30, gives me a re repetition range of uh, volume of 60 reps. Obviously, the intensity is very low. And what this allows the patient to do is actually practice the exercise. And what is happening is the person will show uh, strength proficiency by, through neurological adaptation. So I like to use this for the first two weeks, and I'll utilize one to two sets of 20 to 30 reps. As uh, the patient progresses and adaptation uh, is necessary, then I'll uh, modify Thomas DeLorme's three sets of 10. And I like to give patients a range, anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. And what doing the, giving the uh, rep range allows you to do is to allow the person to fully adapt by increasing their volume first. So how this works is person comes in, they start off straight leg raises with a given weight and they're able to do three sets of 10. And I'll, I'll typically say, hey, you know, this weight should be moderately difficult for you to do three sets of 10. Um, I, mean, I know many of you out there watch patients will go through 30 reps and say they're done. That weight is way too light at this stage of the game. So they want to utilize a resistance that is moderately difficult to do three sets of 10. And they'll, they'll keep at it until they can achieve three sets of 15 that is still challenging, okay? So now we've increased the exercise volume from 30 up to 45 reps. Um, so the person is showing adaptations. And then what we'll do is we'll increase the uh, resistance significantly. We're not gonna jump from two pounds to two and a half. We may, we'll make a, a substantial increase, okay? Maybe four pounds and then challenge them to go back down to the uh, lower end of that rep range, three sets of 10, and then start the process over again. So thinking of these concepts in strength and conditioning, we're increasing the patient's volume first, demonstrating full adaptation, and then we're gonna increase uh, the intensity. So this works real well for you know, upwards of six to eight weeks. As the person continues to rehabilitate and they enter the performance phase of their program, we can still use tips that we've learned from exercise physiology and the strength, coach, uh, strength coaches out there and reducing them to a more traditional five by five program. Okay, so it's five sets of five. And again, my preference is to give that patient a rep range. So I'm gonna reduce them from three sets of 10 to 15 reps 
down to sets of five to seven reps. And what I'd like to do is since they're utilizing heavier resistance, the first two sets would be work sets. So sets one and two, uh, I'm sorry, would be warm up sets. Sets one and two are gonna be easier just to get them uh, familiar with the exercise, uh, warm them up. And then sets three, four, and five are gonna be your work sets. And that's where they're gonna do anywhere from five to seven reps. Once they can do all, all th uh, five sets at seven reps, then boom, we move up the resistance again. So the concept of progressing volume over time as volume decreases, intensity increases. So compare that performance phase, total volume has dropped down to the neighborhood of 25 to 30 reps compared to over 45 reps in that higher phase. Hopefully you find this helpful in treating your patients. I look forward to seeing you next time.